Hello folks, we are back. Winter siesta is over and we are fully geared up for London beer mile. We've done Bermondsey, that's an official beer mile. We've done Black Horse, that's an official beer mile. So now we're doing Hackney, unofficial beer mile. We just made it up, we just done it ourselves. But let me tell you now, it is superb. Join us, some actually excellent pints, excellent beers. Welcome to Hackney. Stop one, Five Points Brewery. Um, just got off from Cambridge Heath and working our way up. He's coming since 2013. And like most new breweries, you do all their stuff with renewable energy, give to charity and really support the local community. So well worth doing. Gone for a pint of XPA. Had before, it's about 4% extra pale ale. It's about six and a half quid, but being five points, if you buy five pints, you get your sixth pint free. Um, so someone's double parked at the minute. It seems to go, it's got Citra and Galaxy in it, so it should be nice and tropical, smooth. Cheers. Oh, that's Boston. Nice, cool, really nice and crispy. Loads of mango rather than uh, pineapple and passion fruit. A little bit of fizz that's going on on the tongue. An excellent first start. Almost walked past this place. It's, uh, <laughs> it's no glam from the outside. It's a really traditional sort of like brick factory bit. Uh, but this feels like an old fashioned canteen in the way they've uh, walled out with the tables and chairs. Cracking start. First pub onto the second. Let's get it on. Cheers. In Forest Road, Brewing Company, uh, which is down a little side alley and feels like you're going the wrong way, but uh, stick with it and you'll find it. It's not a lot about them online, but if you check YouTube, they've got a really good video. Um, and if you think it sounds like Jack Whitehall doing it, it is. <laughs> so they've got bigger people behind them than me anyway, but um, gone for a pint of work, which I think is one of their original ones. This looks really dark. It smells quite piney with that sort of off tropical thing. Looking forward to this. Cheers. Oh, that's got a real piney bitter here. It's a belter, bit of pineapple. And it's all about the bitter finish. It just keeps on going and going. I think this is one of their original beers. It's about six and a half quid. Uh, and they just go for real normal names. So they have work, ride, sesh, mossies, obviously on the ride. I don't know whether he's got what he wanted. But we'll see. <laughs> but a cool little bar, it's, like, it's tucked in between two railway arches. They used to brew here, but I think they brew over in Bermondsey now, so there's a little bit more space to the front and the back, outside. Train going over the top in a minute now. Tucked in behind a multi story Chinese, which there's a new one on me, feels wrong in all the right places. That's a good uh, Anyway, absolutely cracking little place, Bobby. Cheers. We're in St. Monday, which uh, if you ever look it up online, you'll struggle to find out details about it. But it's an absolutely fabulous bar. Uh, best way to find it is there's some sort of random sandwich shop over there where people are queuing up 25 minutes. But I think it seems like crammed full of pickles and all the rest of it. Just look pretty good. But the bar, tucked in underneath the, um, underneath the arches, does all of its own beers. It's got a great big sort of like uh, steampunk sort of theme going on in the background like a metal guru type of uh, arrangement. Got, got at least 10, 12 beers and they do sort of independent ones, but I've gone for a bitter. So this is their uh, ESB by St. Monday. It's verified and untapped, so um, you can go on there and see all the stuff they do. 
six and a half quid for five point one percent. Give us a go. Cheers. It's a draft of ESB, but it's nice and flat. It's lovely toffee caramel. Smells a little bit, but really nice malt flavour to this. <laughs> that is a cracking beer. They don't go in for advertising. There's no sort of like little uh, brands or stuff on the taps. It's all sorts of bits of claws and bits of ironwork. Uh, but as a bar, I'm well impressed with it. It's really, really good. Uh, if you're a fancy coming down this way, yeah, just, uh, just give it a go. Leave someone in the sandwich queue, come and get yourself a pint and you won't regret it. Cheers. We're in the uh, Cop Tavern, and for some reason the lads think I feel right at home in here. And to be honest, I do. Well, this is a uh, this is a tap room for Howling Hops. Um, it's a proper old school sort of brewery, really old school woods. It's got a tiny little beer garden out the back, and uh, it's just around the corner from Hackney Empire. But that's all right because I like to boogie. We've got Howling Hops. This is their barley pop. It's like the carbonation on it is something fierce. Let's give it a go. Cheers. I don't like lager and uh, I don't particularly like that. It's nice and sweet. It tastes like um, like kids pop. But it's very smooth. It's quite sessionable. Really, really, really sweet. Uh, but in terms of the pub, they do have um, a fast as you can eat a pickled egg challenge. Might give that a go in a minute. But whether they're going to beat one and a half seconds, I'm not entirely sure. A cock tavern, superb, howling hops lager, not too bad. Cheers. Hackney Tap, which is right by Hackney Central Station. Proper landing here. It's got a slight local vibe, but it does a bit more of a uh, international feel, so you can get whatever you want. So I've got a, um, I've got fairly local beer. So this is no, not the buttons or no, not the buttons. A gingerbread milk stout. Uh, this is my goodness brewery, but they're based over in um, Haringey rather than Hackney. But it's only about, it's only a couple of miles away. It would be a disgraceful pint in Guinness, but uh, let's give this a go. It's a vegan milk stout. Cheers. Oh. It's gassy. There's a lot. There's a lot of fizz up. There's a lot of gingerbread, and it's a lot of sweet milk. But I mean, it's nowhere near a stout. It's really, really thin, tasty, very sweet, very drinkable. A uh, bit, bit more park water style than it is actual stout. This is the old Midland Bank, so um, it's a bit of a rip-off type of uh, indoor bank bar, but um, in terms of the selection of beers there, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's right on top of uh, Hackney Central Station, so if you have the beer just before you go get the train and go back, super. Cheers.
in the back garden of uh, Hackney Church Brewery. These guys absolutely smashed up World Beer Awards 2023. Won it across the boards. They're massive fans. If, you, if you're watching Rate My Beer, I'm sure you're watching this channel as well, but uh, they love this place. The main bar's really, really busy, uh, but we managed to get a pint of uh, Covenant. This is a proper juicy 6.3% Nipah at six and a half quid. It smells amazing. It's got lovely tropical stuff going on. Cheers. Oh. That's now absolute belter. There's plenty of gas to it. It's pretty fizzy. But it's a lovely, smooth, sort of tropical taste to it. You'd never know it was uh, particularly strong. But the flavour is an absolute belter. It's, it's a lovely bar. It's just tucked in off Hackney Central. Main bar is absolutely lovely. This little tent at the back is just a bit of an overspill, but um, it's still pretty good. And the, the beer is absolutely superb. Bit of a mecca. We'll try something after this. But the Nipah itself is absolutely belter. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>